When discussing flathead fishing, many fishermen will immediately think of the heavy set line with which they catch the odd flathead. They never fully realise the results which can be obtained when an angler uses the right gear, bait and method to specialise for flathead. The place to select is a shallow water sand shelf where the fish will come to feed on the rising tide. It need not be more than five foot deep and bank fishing is far better than from an anchored boat as it allows freedom to move about. Carry only a minimum of gear readily accessible in a small, neat tackle box. You must be prepared to search for this fish, for he is lazy, preferring to lie partly buried in the sand awaiting food to come to him. To allow fluent casting with the light bait, use a line below 10 pound breaking strain and when tying knots in this light monofilament, moisten the line before you draw the knot tight. It prevents chaving and line burn. Your fishing rod should have good flexing action to cushion the line, but needs to be strong enough to cast well and control the fish. When winding a flathead ashore, keep the rod tip down and the fish under water. Otherwise the line will foul the sharp cutting teeth in its upper jaw, and as he shakes his head, he will cut the trace. This will rarely happen if the fish is kept submerged. Work the bait systematically over the area, using the rod and reel to make the bait move like a small maimed fish. The flathead will chase it and take the bait in one gulp. The first interest is a bump not unlike being fouled on the bottom, and a pause should elapse before you wind to the fish and take action. Don't wade past your shins because you may scare the fish away. Use well-balanced gear, which allows the rod and reel to be always in the hands, the fingers of the left hand detecting the bite, while the right hand is ready to do the necessary winding. Looking more closely at the rigging, we see a small split shot selected from the tackle. The only lead weight used is this small fixed sinker, as it allows the bait to move naturally in the shallow water. The small swivel is essential above any rig, and the split shot is clamped on the nylon trace six inches above a sharp number 20 hook. Wire traces are not used. Nail clippers will trim knot ends neatly and quickly and are well worth carrying in your pocket. The top bait for flathead is small fish, among which the frogmouth pilchards would rate very highly. One small fish is often sufficient, but if you have a good supply of bait, a second fish can be hooked by the eyes below the other bait fish. This will give a bait more readily seen by the flathead and produce better action in the water. The size of the bait is not a problem for the flathead has a very large mouth. Because these pilchards are soft, they must be put on and cast very carefully. Baiting and its presentation plays a major role in your chances of success, so it warrants a lot of attention. We look at this typical flathead ground and try to assess where the fish would be feeding. Quietly approaching the water's edge, avoid any excessive movement or splashing with the feet as this shallow feeder takes fright quickly. The line is cast away with an easy, smooth action. Then comes the time to keep your mind on the job. During summer days when flathead are about, there should be no long wait for a bite if your bait is properly presented. Small flathead move very fast and call for careful handling. Whether live or dead, always handle a flathead with a determined grip in the gill case connections. If he has swallowed the hook, it can be extracted through the gills. Then turn the hook back to front, insert it again and pull on the front trace and the hook will come straight out. Jack now baits his hook and prepares to cast. When using the Alvey side cast reel, it is a simple matter to cast this light rig 40 to 50 feet without using any power action which could dislodge the soft light bait. 
Either a forehand or backhand casting action can be used successfully in this type of fishing. As Jack works for his fish, the rod suddenly dips with the weight of a good flathead. And after giving the fish time to tire, he calls for the gaff. The gaff favoured has a right angle spear and is used with a short downward strike right through the head of the flathead. From then on, he is well under control. As the tide increases, larger fish move into the shallows and the class of our catch begins to improve. Cast back into the same spot. Often the hook fish has caused pieces of bait to be thrown round, attracting other fish. Besides this, flathead usually camp in small families together, particularly if there are sunken logs, jetty piles or similar obstructions in the water. So where you catch one, try for another. It is good policy to cast back into the same area as quickly as possible. A sharp blow behind the eyes knocks a flathead completely out and makes them easy to handle. It can even be used to land a fish from a boat if you have no landing net, but you need a good eye and a stout heart. Small fish are not the only flathead bait as they can be taken on prawns, yabbies or fish flesh. But when using cut flesh fish baits, it is better if they are trimmed to a long triangular shape so that they will produce small fish action in the water. Garfish, mullet and tailor flesh all will cut into good flathead baits. This bait is never plaited onto the hook as it chokes in the gape. The hook is put through the base of the triangle once only. While this leaves a lot of hooks showing, the flathead don't notice, the bait moves better in the water and the barb is free to penetrate. This is proved as Jack hooks into a good fish with garfish bait. Flathead are not great fighters, but they always save an extra burst for near the shoreline. This fish went back into the water even after being beached. Be ready for this last minute attempt to escape, for it is here that many good fish are lost. Don't try to rush him ashore. Wait your time and he will soon completely tire come to shore quietly and be an easy target for a gaff hook. This gaff with a right angle spearhead has not been marketed, but it is not hard to make by bending a nine inch fish spear, which provides a barb for extra holding power as it is brought ashore and unhooked. Even though this fish was over seven pounds, it really did not put a severe test on the light line. As Jack takes his catch back to the rover, I find another fish as soon as I cast the bait. While he seems quite a nice fish, he was hooked a little further out and did a lot of swimming around, tiring himself out before coming closer inshore. Consequently, he has landed without assistance. Flathead have a sharp horn-like spike on each side of the head, with which they can inflict a very painful wound. Note the position of these spikes so that you can avoid them. A short cast, a little bait movement, and another flathead greedily snatches the bait as it passes him by. By watching the breaking shore wave, the antics of the hook fish can just be seen as he tries to break free from the line. But the cushion provided by the flexing rod prevents this happening and he is soon in a position to be gaffed. After landing, the fish are allowed to lie on the beach until the flesh sets. Premature bagging or casing causes bruising, sweating and spoiling. We found that once the tide started to fall, the smaller flathead came back and we knew it was time to put rod and reel away. We were a little pleased with our efforts. The two hours fishing produced 42 flathead with quite a few between six and eight pounds weight. 
All were taken in a 50-yard area from the rover, and there must have been many more feeding along the beach. You may not get this many, but you will certainly catch more than usual if you fish light and present a bait in a lifelike manner. This then is our method of flathead fishing. Not just anchoring a slab of fish flesh in the middle of a channel with the hope that a fish will find it, but going prepared with the light rig and the right gear to cast it, reasoning where flathead would be and luring them onto a bait. If you are a person who likes a nice fish meal, try baked flathead. You will certainly enjoy it and come back for more. So until we meet again, we wish you tight lines and good fishing.